Hi guys, today I'm going to read you the book, The Tiny Seed, and the author and illustrator today is Eric Carle. It is autumn, a strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high into the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Can't grow if there's no sun. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. It needs water to grow. There's no water in the desert. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the birds don't see it. It's still there. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse doesn't see it. So it was fall, now it's winter. And next is spring. Now it's spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore, they are plants. First they send the roots down to the earth. Their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed. It takes all the sunlight and the rain away from the small new plants and the little plants die. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late, hurry, hurry, but, fi but finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. So all the plants didn't make it, but the tiny seed is starting to grow. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and the springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along. Oh, he breaks one. Now it can't grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them. A hand reaches down and breaks off a flower. But the tiny seed's still growing. A boy has picked up the flower to give to a friend. Now it is summer. The tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it. The rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and the bees and the butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the night grows cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals start to drop off the giant flower, and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. So fall again. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower once more. The wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower, seed, flower seeds pot, pot opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away with the wind. 
and their trip begins again. All the seeds are going to keep flying. So guys, you have a packet, and in your packet, this is the packet, in your packet is a sequencing sheet. You guys can cut out the different pictures and put it on the sentence strip that we provided. And you can put what, did, what was the first thing that you saw in the book. First, there was a seed, then it sprouted, and out came a little bud, and then it opens up into a flower. And if you want, you guys can draw your own flower over here. Here we have the life cycle of a flower, which is what we just learned about inside the book, The Tiny Seed. First, there's a seed that, is, that the wind blew onto the ground, and it started to sprout and grow, and here is the bud that will open up into a flower. And do you remember what happened at the end of the book? In the autumn, the wind blew the pod open and more seeds came flying out. And then it, the cycle happens again and again and again. The seeds will fly to the ground, sprout, bud, and flower. And the last thing I have for you is the different parts of a plant. Just like the one in the book, there's a seed, outgrow the roots and they suck up all the water and it starts to grow up. Here is the stem, here is the leaf, here is the flower, and this is where the pollen is. This is where the seeds burst out when the wind carries them away to land somewhere else to grow for next spring. Thanks for watching.